Hi second graders, Miss DiMario here from Citizenship Academy with your next math lesson. We're on lesson eight today. Now we're still working in base 10 units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, but we're gonna switch gears a little bit. So today we're gonna be working with money. We're not gonna be working with coins like we did a couple lessons ago. We're gonna be working with dollar bills. What I want you to notice is the similarities between $1 bills, $10 bills, $100 bills, all that stuff, not $1,000 bills, we don't have those. But notice the similarities between that and the base 10 units we've been working with. You should notice a lot of similarities. All right, let's start with what, a warm up today. We're gonna be counting backwards. So, so today we're gonna start at 1,000 and count all the way back to zero. Ho, ho, ho. So we're gonna do that like we did a couple lessons ago where I show you a base 10 unit either a block, a little block for ones, a 10 stick for tens, or a hundreds block for hundreds. Whatever symbol you see, whatever unit you see, that's how we're gonna count by. That's what we're gonna count by. So either ones, tens, or hundreds. So we're gonna start at a thousand and count backwards to zero. Are you ready? Here we go. So what are we gonna start counting with first? Tens, good. So we're going to start at 1,000, counting backwards by tens. 1,000, 990, 980, 970, 960, 950, 940. Oh, now what are we going to count by? Hundreds, good. Starting at 940, we're counting backwards. Counting backwards by hundreds. 940, 840, 740, 640, 540. Oh, now we're going to be counting backwards by tens. Good. Starting at 540. 540. 530. Just the tens place. 520. 510. 500. Now what? Ones. Very good. Starting at 500, count backwards by ones. 500. 499. 498. 497. 496. 495. Oh, now what are we counting by? Tens down, starting at 595, 495, 485, 475, 465, 455, 445, 435, 425, 415, 405, 405, I'm sorry. Now we're going to count by ones. Good, starting at 405. 405, 404, 403, 402, 401, 400. Hundreds, very good. Starting at 400, let's count backwards. 400, 300, 200, 100. Zero. Good job. You just get, guys just counted backwards from 1,000 to zero in like a minute. Awesome work. Okay. Now, we're going to do one of my favorite things because it's important to keep these fast facts in our brains. We are going to review our doubles fact. So I'm going to say a doubles fact. I'm going to snap my fingers. You're going to tell me the answer. Ready? Here we go. I love doubles. Five plus five is ten. Awesome job. Three plus three. Six. Good. Six plus six. 12. Very good. 1 plus 1. Easy peasy. 2. Good. 4 plus 4. 8. Awesome. 9 plus 9. Tricky one. 18. Very good. 2 plus 2. 4. 10 plus 10. 20. 8 plus 8, another tricky one. 8 plus 8 is 16. Very good. 7 plus 7. 14. Awesome. Okay. For this one, you're going to need someone at home to talk to because this one's kind of a discussion-based application problem. So see if you can find someone at home to kind of talk this through. 
Okay, ready? So this says Stacy has $154. She has 14 $1 bills. The rest is in $10 bills. How many $10 bills does she have? I'm going to read through that again because that was a lot of information. Ready? Listen. Stacy has $154. She has 14 $1 bills. The rest is in $10 bills. How many $10 bills does she have? I want you to take a couple minutes and talk to someone at home about how we could solve this problem. What is a way we can think about this problem to figure out how many $10 bills she has? So pause the video, talk it through with someone at home, and then we'll go over it. Ready? All right, let's talk about it. So I know 154. I'm going to do that in my little place value chart here. Is 100, 5 tens, and 4 ones. Now, the only we know this information, and we know that Stacy has 14 ones. That's the same as 110 and 4 ones. So if we were to add another 10 tens to this, Sorry, if we were to add 14 ones, I know that the ones are going to kind of cancel each other out, right? So, right here, we need four more tens, and we still need 100. So, we'll still need $140 bills, right? So, 14 tens can also equal $140. So, we still need $140. Does she have a hundred and forty ten dollar bills? No, right? What does she have? How many ten dollar bills? Just fourteen. So I'm gonna take the zero off. We can put the fourteen in our tens category, in our tens place here. Because we know that 14 tens is $140. So she does not have $140 $10 bills. That would be thousands of dollars. She has 14 $10 bills. Okay, a little bit tricky, but we're learning to manipulate money. We're learning to manipulate our tens, our hundreds, all that fun stuff. When we start adding bigger numbers, that's going to be important. Just a little brain teaser for you. Okay, so like I said earlier in our lesson, we're going to start understanding the relationship between money and the base 10 numbers we've been talking about. We're going to work with $1 bills, $10 bills, and $100 bills, which you should see a similarity between the ones, tens, and hundreds we've been working with. So we're going to count to $124. So we're going to start counting by ones. When we get 10 ones, what do you think we're going to try and change that into. What is 10 ones going to equal? Yeah, a $10 bill. Just like 10 ones equals a 10 stick, 10 $1 bills is going to equal a $10 bill. Now, when we get 10 $10 bills, 10 $10 bills, what do you think that's going to equal? A $100 bill, very good. Just like when we have 10 10 sticks, it equals $100. When we have 10 $10 bills, it's going to equal $100. Okay? I'm going to use a little visual to go over that because that was a lot of information. So we're going to start counting by ones. So here we go. Counting $1 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, $10. When we have 10 $1 bills, what can we exchange that for? One $10 bill. So we can take 10 ones, turn it into $10. Awesome. Now we're going to count by $10 bills. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. When we have 10 $10 bills, what can we change that into? Good. $100 bill. Awesome. Same thing as tens and ones, just using money. All right, now we're going to mix all of our 
different values together and count up to 124. So we're going to start with $100, 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. Now this is money, so we have to make sure we say $124. We can put this little dollar sign in there. You're doing the same thing that you've been doing with your tens and ones. You're just transferring it into money. One still, 10 ones still equal a 10, 10 10 still equal 100, just putting the money in front of it. So you can see this little addition problem down here. We have 100 plus our two tens for 20, plus our four ones for 124. What's this called again when we break down our number into an addition sentence? What form is that? Expanded form, very good. All right, let's count this money. Here we go. Again, using the same strategies. Start with $100, $200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 241, 242, 243, 244, 244 ants, balls, $244. Now, I want you to take your paper and I want you to write me the expanded form of this number. So take all your $100 bills together, take all your $10 bills together, take all your ones together, and write me an addition sentence to show me the expanded form of this number. Pause the video, do that now. Okay, so I know I have two $100 bills, which is 200. I'm gonna start with that. And then I have four $10 bills, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm going to add 40, and then I have four $1 bills that gets me to four. So that's going to be my expanded form of 244. All right, same thing as tens and ones, but we're just working with money. Okay, woo! I'm going to get us into our um, exit ticket. So what you're going to need to do is kind of the same thing we just did in our lesson. You're going to count the value of the money. First, you're going to write it in standard form. Remember, standard form is just the number. So count your hundreds, count your tens, count your ones, add them together, write the number. So this is going to be your number, whatever that number is. It's not 788, I promise, but I'm not going to tell you the answer. And then your expanded form, you're going to write your addition sentence. So for this one, for my number, 788, I would write this. Okay, standard form is your number, expanded form is your addition sentence. Based on A and B, you're both based on this money right here. Okay, number two, you're going to tell me the value of three $10 bills and nine $1 bills. Draw it out if you need to, or think about your tens and ones. Three tens, nine ones. Three $10 bills, nine $1 bills. And then same thing down here, you're going to count your $10 bills and count your $1 bills, tell me how much money. Count your $100 bills, count your $1 bills, tell me how much money. And that's it for today. Great job, everybody, and I will see you next time.